morning everybody welcome back I've got a another little project to share with you guys this is a three pocket um, folded pocket page mm, that's a mouthful isn't it uh, from one sheet of paper now I've adapted this um, from the the 12 by 12 because the 12 by 12 you end up with a six well five inches um, by six inch pocket which is too big for journals so I have tweaked this and adapted it so that it will work with our digital downloads and so what I've done is I've made this an eight by eight sheet of paper you're going to cut that out and then you want to come back and score at four inches turn it and then score at two and a quarter, turn it around, and do two and a quarter on the other side. Um, let me move this out of the way, because as you can see, I've already got this one kind of started. So there's your um, four inch score, and then these are your two and a quarter. So what you're going to do is just from each side, <clears throat> snip that into the line, and then that way you can now, let me get my glue over here, this is so quick guys, so now what you want to do is just fold that down to the line, but come in just a little bit, that way it will fold easily, because if you put it right to the line, sometimes it can be a little bit fiddly. So you're going to do that on all of the sides, okay? And then, let's go ahead and get this glued down, assuming my glue is going to work here. And it's not wanting to cooperate today, of course. Sometimes those, um, ah, I get distracted and I walk away sometimes and then they the glue plugs up and that's what's happened because normally these are very very good little glue bottles but oh boy it's it's just not going to work today okay well plan B oh, I don't like to use this because it comes out It comes out, so she says, oh dear. It was all going so well, honestly. This should have been done yesterday, but um, I've gotten behind, guys, on things. So that's why I started this, and then I <clears throat> got sidetracked, so that's why this is all... Not going to plan. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get those glued down. Oh boy, it's coming out now, isn't it? Let me get a piece of paper. Out here. Okay, it's ridiculous the amount of. Um, I've got the tempered glass plate, I've got the Tim Holtz um, heat guard. And then I've got this cutting mat, and I still um, always grab a sheet of paper because I, it's just sometimes the cleanup on these are just too much trouble. So I still end up just making sure I've got paper under it. Um, and you're not supposed to have to do that with that tempered glass one, but I just find it's, it's easier just to throw away a sheet of paper. All right, so there it's starting to come together. Now all you're going to do is just glue down the little flap. And, uh, oops, I forgot. Let's put a bead along here. I'm going to have to snip that off. I must not have cut that uh, straight. Let me just do that. Put a little bead along at the bottom. And then... Just a little bit along here to close that. 
And let me just snip that right now. Sometimes my cutter doesn't do a straight. Do you guys have that trouble? I've got the Fiskars, but it's still, sometimes it just um, goes a little, bit, a little bit off. All right, so that's how you end up. We've got a pocket here, a pocket here, and then we are now going to glue that together and have a pocket. have cut out a couple of little journal cards. I think what I'll do is just round the corners of these. And this, I'm really annoyed with myself. This is a freebie. And I tell you, I, I have tried and tried to track back where I found this. And I can't, guys, so I am very sorry. I know you're going to be asking about uh, where I got that from. And it was a freebie off of the Internet, but I cannot for the life of me find it now. So uh, I've got to get better about this. All right, so I'm going to... Let me just make sure those fit now before I go through all this. <laughs> Yeah, that's perfect. So I'm just going to put this little tab here. I have been treated by my sweet, sweet friend, Andrea, from Down Under. <coughs> Hello, Andrea! <laughs> Guess what she treated me to? You know, those are so, so rare. This is that whale punch, tab punch, and Andrea also sent me, look at that fabric, uh, lace, that's all been hand dyed, she said, isn't that gorgeous, and then look at what else she sent me, the slide die, which I've been wanting forever, and as I had said in a previous video, thank you so much, Andrea, those are just amazing, um, I had said in a previous video that when I went back home, I was going to try to arrange to have that shipped to my son's or my daughter's address, and I would pick it up because to have anything like that shipped to the UK is the duties that they charge are just so it, it's often more money than the product itself. So, um, Andrea. Knew I wanted that, and bless her heart, she had been searching for that for me, and I just can't tell you uh, how surprised I was when she told me she had gotten that. I was just, I just can't believe it. I've got such great, great friends from this journey. It's, it's just, it still just surprises me, and it really does. You know, sometimes you can get kind of down about the the world, things going on, and then just out of the blue, somebody will do something so, so thoughtful. So thank you so much, Andrea. That is going to be treasured. <laughs> I'm just distressing these a little bit so they're kind of grunged up. I don't know why, I seem to be going more and more to the grungy side, and it's just really strange. I don't know how that came about, but... Well, that one sticks out a little bit more. Let me shave a little bit of that off. Just 
just run a little bit of a little bead of um, glue down here. And then I've made this little tag to fit in here. Yeah, I'm going to have to trim that down a little bit. Let me see if I can open that up just a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to take some of that off. I'm going to cut some of that at the bottom because I don't want it to stick up too much. That's pretty good there. All right, so let me get a eyelet. I have a lot of people ask me about these eyelets. These are We Are Memory Keepers. If you just do a search on Google, um, for jumbo eyelets, we are memory keepers. It should bring these up. Um, let's see, I'm trying to get a darker. Yeah, I like the dark one there. Okay, let's just get that punched in. find a pretty piece of sorry silk this might be a little bit too long I'll, I'll cut it off I think yep too much. <clears throat> but what I like about this um, little pocket, number one, it's quick and easy, <laughs> but um, that could just be floating within the journal. So you could just clip that in. I think that would be really nice. So I'm going to be making a few of those for those journals I'm working on. I might... Let me show you. Because I still think... And this is, like I said, about a... I don't know, 4 by 6 But that's still going to work. And I can just put a clip. So that's going to be really a nice little pocket. And you can see that just took minutes. And that was with me messing around with the glue. So, so there you go, guys. So then, yeah, that could just be let me get my little clip here. You could just clip that in. Yeah. Okay, so you've got your tag there. You can do some journaling on. That glue, I'm going to pull that back out and let that dry in a minute. Um, and then you've got this little journal card. And then you've got this one. And then, as, you know, you can decorate some more once you decide where it's going to go. I'll probably add a little snippet and maybe a butterfly. Oh, you know what? I'll just go ahead and do it. <laughs> I talked myself right into doing it. So, let me grab. Let's see what I've got here. Oh, 
Oh, that's pretty. I was gifted that. I think I'll use that because that's got some, some gold on it. I think that'll really stand out nice. So. Okay, let me see what kind of... Um, I know I'm going to put a little bit of cheesecloth back there. So I'll do that. <coughs> Just put a little bit of this lace on top of that, I think. Just going to ink those edges a little bit because they are white. This is a die cut, so... And... I think I want to put a little bit of the um, linen thread around that. So I'm sorry my voice is a little bit, um, it's worse than normal. I know I'm, I'm such a croaky person. Uh, I don't know what's what's been going on, but I know this last week I've got um, kind of an ear infection. I'm prone to ear infections, and um, it's, oh gosh, I've had some brutal sinus headaches. So there's something in my, it's not coronavirus, I know that, but it's um, like a sinus infection I've picked up, and so it's really showing in in my you know talking. It's um, so I'm trying to keep lozenges and things so you guys don't have to listen to it. But this will definitely set me off. So uh, I'll be glad when I've used all this Fabri-Tac up. It's just such an irritant to my throat. So yeah, you guys do be careful with these products that we're using because, um, you know, not everything that's being put out there is necessarily safe. I'll tell you one of the other techniques I had a really bad reaction is the technique where you take the cling wrap and... Um, to adhere napkins to um, your paper and you take it and you put the napkin over cling wrap over cling film and then you iron that oh man don't don't do it guys unless you're outside because that plastic puts off a fume and I think a lot of people just do not think about this over the long term so do be careful with this stuff out there. But oh, I do like how that's come out. I think that's really pulled some of that, the greens out of there. So there it is, guys. Obviously, you know, do it for whatever uh, your theme is. I think this will be really cute with some a shabby chic with some flowers and things. But there's another little idea. I'm really trying to find. <coughs> excuse me. I'm trying to focus on book pages and pocket ideas because I feel like that's an area where a lot of us struggle because we've got so many book pages and um, the pockets. I don't know about you, but when I go to make a journal, I just seem to have a draw a blank on different pocket ideas. And so I am trying to come up with a, you know, I'm scouring all the time in the evening when I sit down. I never really stop working because I'm always looking for, for th new things that I can maybe share with you guys. But they've all been done, as we know. It's just uh, I'm trying to find things that maybe you haven't seen. But I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope that's inspired you. It is so quick, um, which I love. I love the fast uh, projects. And then you can decorate them any way that you want. You can go as elaborate as you want or just keep it very simple. 
But I hope you've enjoyed that, guys. Take care, and I'll be back very soon. Bye-bye.